What's going on everybody? It's Carmine from Bar Mine Tech, and today we're going to be talking about Cloud Flared Tunnels, or Cloud Flared, depends on how you guys want to look at the setup. So this is going to be something we're going to run out of the Proxmox environment. We're going to be using the community scripts or the Proxmox helper scripts to set it up. And the whole idea of this is going to be that we can safely expose some of our services to the public, whether it's like Overseer or maybe Minecraft server, or maybe you want to expose some of the other services, like your homepage or whatever else it might be. And it's another way of exposing a service in a way of using a reverse proxy. So we're going to talk about how to set it up and we're going to talk about how it works and we're going to get right into that right now. As a disclaimer, some people have security concerns about using Cloudflare tunnels, which is fine. I'm not going to really go deep dive into the security aspect of it today. However, I will say that you are forming a tunnel that's going to use Cloudflare to encrypt and decrypt. So the information is going to be passing through HTTPS, which is going to be decrypted at the Cloudflare side, and that's going to reach out to you whatever service you are running. So if you're running something like Vault Warden, you might want to keep that in mind that Cloudflare technically is going to be decrypting the traffic and going to be able to see whatever you're doing in clear text. Again, I'm not going to go into the security fully. This is something that I'm just going to say maybe it's better to use like Overseer or maybe a Minecraft server, stuff like that. It doesn't have critical information running through the HTTP or HTTPS traffic. Enough of that, let's get into how Cloudflare works or Cloudflare tunnels. So you can see actually they have their docs over here of how it works. So pretty much what's going to be is the customer's browser is going to be outside in the public. It's going to reach out to a browser, which is going to resolve back to a Cloudflare network. From there, their edge server is going to take the request. It's going to check it to make sure everything routes out properly and reaches where it has to go. They're going to resolve it back to go to the tunnel. And then from the tunnel, it's going to reach out to the service hosted internally in your home lab or wherever else. And then in reverse, it would just go back outbound. So it reaches out to the browser of the person requesting the information or to access the server. It's a pretty straightforward concept. It's actually pretty simple to set up. So let's get right into the actual setup. If we come over to the community helper scripts or the Proxmox VE scripts, we could just click view scripts. And then over here, if we scroll down to network and firewall, there's the cloud flared container. Now they do have an option in here to configure with DNS over HTTPS. I was unable to get this to work properly and it seems to cause an issue. So I'm going to only go over today how to do it standard without the DOH. One thing I forgot to mention is you are going to need a domain that's already sitting in Cloudflare. So we can go forward with this project. Um, getting a domain through Cloudflare is really easy. It's usually really cheap depending on the domain name you want to use. But you are going to need it because we are going to be using their zero trust and their security features through there to set this up. So just make sure that you have a Cloudflare domain name. So this is the Cloudflare LXC. So that's what we're going to be using. They have the script over here. If I come back over to my mini lab, we can actually see I'm going to be from the bar my tech server today and over here i have guacamole which i'm going to use as a demo of how to expose it using cloud flare tunnels so like i said you are going to need a domain so like over here i'm going to be using barmindtest.net this was just a blank domain that i purchased a little while back so i could do some testing with it and use it for examples on the channel so today this is what we're going to be working with what we do need to do is do got to come back to our dashboard and then we're going to come over to zero trust what i like to do is right click and open up zero trust in a new tab and that's just purely because of we're going to need to jump back and forth a couple times so cloudflare is going to do the majority of the work for us but we are going to need to just double check a couple of the settings so the first thing we're going to do is come over to network and then over here is tunnels and in here is where we're going to create our tunnel so this is the first step that we actually need to do and send up our tunnel before we can install our script just so we have it originated and we need the connector information so i'm going to click create tunnel and we're going to use cloud flared now the tunnel is going to be able to cover all services in your home lab. So if you're running like your Proxmox server and it has multiple services underneath it, you could just name one tunnel to go to all those services. You don't need a tunnel for each service. So I'm just going to do bar mine tech. And then in here, we're going to save the tunnel. So now over here, we're going to get to the point where it's going to say to configure the connector. And that's fine. That's exactly where we want to be at. Now we're going to go install the Cloudflare tunnel on our mini lab. So I'm just going to come over to here again. We're going to copy the script. I'm going to open up my mini lab and we're going to open up the shell on the Proxmox server. So I'm just going to open up my shell, make it a little bit bigger so everybody can read. And then I'm going to just paste in the script and run it. And it's just like any of the other scripts. It's just going to ask us if we want to make the container. I'm going to click yes. I don't want to do diagnostic, so I'm going to click no. And then over here, it's just going to ask for the default settings or not. You could do default. I just need to change the VM ID, so I'm just going to do advanced. 
And I'm going to go through here, and when we get to the next options, we'll be right back. So, just like I've mentioned in previous videos, I just need to change the VM ID because of my cluster. Um, but now over here, you can see that I went through all the options, and I'm creating the LXC. If you just click to run the default, it's fine. There's no big deal to it, and then it's just going to start installing. And at some point, it's going to ask us if we want to install DOH or DNS over HTTPS. At that point, we're going to tell it no, because that seems to be interfering with some of the setup. It's just not working properly. Or I can't figure out how to do it at the moment. So we're, maybe at a future time it will work properly. But I was looking through in the Proxmox Helper Scripts Discord and other people were saying they were having similar issues. So I'm not exactly sure on the config side what's the issue. I'm going to let this run until we get the next option and then we'll be right back. So over here you can actually see now it's asking if we want to install DNS over HTTPS or as a DOH proxy. I'm going to say no because I do not want that. And then we're just going to let this finish installing and it's all set up. So now that the container is all done, we can minimize this for now. And now over here, we can see that Cloudflare is running. This is where we're going to have to run these commands over here that it's specifying. And that's how we're going to set that up for the connector. So I'm just going to come back over here. I'm going to right click and open up a console. And now you can see over here, we're in the Cloudflare tunnel. This container just runs in the command line. There's no GUI that goes along with it. So if you try to open up to a web page, it's not going to open. So don't worry. We're just going to come back over to that page where we start making our Cloudflare tunnel. We're running Debian and I'm using 64 bits. So I'm going to use that. We're going to copy this box on the right because we do already have it installed. We don't need to do the initial install again. I'm going to open up that container console again, and we're going to paste that in or like run. And now it's going to run the scripts provided by Cloudflare to connect this container to Cloudflare. So now you can see over here, it has connectors listed and it should show up in here saying that it's connected. So now we can click next. And now over here is we can start setting up our tunnel information. So I want to do Apache guacamole. So I'm going to do Apache. And then over here, you're going to select whatever domain name that you want to use. So I'm going to use my barmindtest.net. So now you can see it's going to resolve to apache.barmindtest.net. And now in here, we need to set the internal information. So this part, this portion up here where it says add public host name is going to be the public area. So that's how you're going to access it when you're outside your network. And here is going to be how it's going to hit the inside. So it's going to be like the actual inside machine. So you're going to select whether you're using HTTP or HTTPS. I'm going to use HTTP. And then it's going to be the URL, so it's the IP address, or however it is that you hit it internally. So I'm just going to get that for Apache Guacamole. We'll be right back. So like I said, I'm using Guacamole, so I'm just going to copy this whole URL right over here, the IP, the port, and slash Guacamole, so it hits the right area. So we're going to paste that in. You can see over here, I grabbed the HTTP colon by accident, so that's why I'm just going to take that out. Now we should be all set if I hit save tunnel. Okay, so at this point, we're running into an issue that I was worried about happening is that Apache Guacamole needs to use a slash after the ports to designate to go to that directory it runs Guacamole. So unfortunately, it's not working properly because Cloudflare doesn't want to use it that way. So you're going to need something within the scheme of like an IP colon ports, and that's how it would be able to do it. So I'm just going to grab a different service really quick and show you how to set that up. So you have an example that works. Okay. So over here, you can see that this is my, my speed that runs on my home network. So it's just going to be an example that I'm going to share out because it's going to work properly because it has this scheme of IP colon port. So I'm just going to copy that. We're going to come back over here. So this is going to be as the tunnel's already established, which is fine. So if like, if I come back, you can see here's tunnel. And I can come over here to the dots and click configure. So over here, if you you know need to change anything, you can. But everything's already set up for me. It's already connected to my container. So I just need to set a public host name. So I'm just going to set speed. And then I'm going to select my domain that I want to go to. Like I said, mine's going to go to barmindtest.net. Now from here is where I'm going to set that URL in here. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And then just make sure that you take out the any HTTP or anything afterwards. You'll need the IP and the port. So we're just going to save that. And now over here, you can see I have the record for speed.barmindtest.net. And if I come over to speed.barmindtest.net, you can see that it actually opens up right to my speed test page. So this is going through the internet. It's not resolving through my house. I have a secure connection, so it's just going through. It's verified by Google, which is fine. So it means Cloudflare is securing it at some point. So now I'd be able to access this publicly, whether it's from my phone or anything else. I could get this outside of my network, and it's a secure tunnel back into my house without needing a VPN or anything else. So like I said, there was the one issue of using Apache Guacamole because of the slash after the port. So Cloudflare doesn't like that. 
So just keep that in mind going forward. If you try to set up something and it just doesn't work properly, that's most likely why. You know, you're gonna try to use services that are straight up just IP colon ports, and that should work best. Just keep in mind that there still might be situations where a VPN might be better to use in Cloudflare tunnels. Like I said, if you're using like something like Vault Warden or anything that might be passing important information along the internet, you probably don't want that passing through to get decrypted and encrypted at Cloudflare. You probably want to pass that through a secure tunnel where you're the only person that's going to be encrypting and decrypting it. I don't want to go into the security aspect fully of it, but just something to keep in mind. Cloudflare is probably really good for stuff like sharing, like Overseer, Minecraft servers, stuff like that. Stuff where it's not a big deal, where there's some sensitive information going through the network traffic. But that's really it for Cloudflare tunnels. As always, I want to thank you all for watching. I'll have links to all the gear in my home lab below. I'll have a link to the Discord server if you're interested. We do still have the giveaway running, so you can join up and go check out the giveaway tab for more information on that. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video.